So once you uh, finish curling it, you want to hold your curl. And this is what makes your curls last literally weeks. Yeah, just by holding it, letting the heat uh, cool down just a bit. Otherwise, you just lose all that work. Jane's going to show us what she's going to use to make this hair look 100% natural and flawless. All right, what do you have for us? Hi guys, well this is a trick that I learned a while ago. It's the wig makeup that we use on wigs to give it a scalp-like look, okay? So we've already determined her color. She's a coffee with cream. <laughs> so now we're going to make her part look very natural with an angle brush. And we're just going to go in and create a very nice too wide, not too thin, just enough. That's one bit. And then the part that hits her forehead, which is the hairline, I'm just gonna make it a little darker so you don't see any lace. Oh, see, I didn't know that. That's good Two to colors. Know. Okay. Your scalp, because your scalp color is always a little lighter than yeah. your skin. So you do the skin part, which is a little darker, which is around your hairline. It makes everything disappear. And then you go a little lighter on the scalp. So right now you have a part. Perfecto. So now we're gonna start styling. Okay, for the busy woman or girl or boy who just wants to get in and get out, I recommend these curls, okay? It literally takes less than five minutes. All right. So I part my hair. And we're using the wand, um, what yes. is that? We're using a one and a half inch wand. The reason I like this size because it gives the prettiest curls, my really? favorite. And so where where can I get one of those? Amazon, it's okay. $29 at Amazon. Really? Girl, you need to send me the links. I'm gonna send you guys the links too, because I want one. <laughs> $19.99 at Walmart, where you can catch it. All right, it's usually sold out. Oh, wow. But, and then Amazon, and then Sally's Beauty is about 24 bucks a Sally's. Well, there you go, affordable. So you wanna grab, eh, not too thick, not too thin. Positioning of the wand is key. So you wanna come behind and, cur and flat curl it. So you want every bit of the hair to touch the wand. So you wanna flat curl it and roll it up and then hold it that way. So for me personally, I feel like my arm is slightly like bent-ish. So I'm going to try and see if I can achieve this on my own because in my head, I can't achieve this. I've tried, I promise. So let's see if I can do it on my own. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think you can. It's the positioning. Once you know where the one is to be, mm -hmm. like in, on, and believe it or not, each side has a different way to do it. And I think that's what it is. I tend to get one side right and I tend to mess up on the other side. So that's exactly what it is. One side is a different way to curl than the other side. And it took me years to figure this out. <laughs> but that's the thing, you know, people think that it's just it just comes to you. And I'm pretty good with hair, and there's certain curl patterns that I've nailed, but just getting that beachy, you know, big wave that's so in right now yes. has been a struggle for me. And you know what? You're not the only one. And I think this video is going to help a lot of people. Good. So once you uh, finish curling it, you want to hold your curl. And this is what makes your curls last literally weeks, yeah, just right. by holding it, letting the heat. Uh, cool down just a bit. Otherwise, you just lose all that work you just did. Really? Yeah, sometimes I'll even blow on it. Just so it can cool down. Wow. And then you get that perfect curl. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. I love it. Oh my word. <laughs> so we go, we're go. we gonna go another. I do three curls per side. This okay. is for like the busy girl. Okay. You just want some fabulous hair style in five minutes. Literally. And that's me. Like, I, I want to look. <laughs> Honestly, guys, it might look like I take forever to get ready. I don't. I am like quick, quick, and we'll definitely do that in another Ask an Expert, which will be me, how to get ready in five minutes and look fabulous. Because it's like, I don't have the time between the kids, um, taking care of the house, and vlogging full time. You know, I don't the have time. time. I don't, that's why, you know, I always down for like quick fixes. So I'll show you guys like how I get ready, like makeup wise in like literally five to 10 minutes. And you know, now I'm gonna have all the tips for this so we can do everything in like 15 oh minutes. Your makeup is beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And as a mom of three, I totally, that's why, that's why this, I talk about this all the time because I have to be able to get out in five minutes. Yeah, literally, literally. So this is the second curl. I'm gonna go again behind the curl and almost like you're coming forward. 
This technique is very key that you follow step by step to achieve the curl that you're gonna see in the end. We're gonna hold it, I would say count to about 10, and that'll be it. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> Remember, we're gonna hold we're it. We're gonna hold it, okay. For another, like say, six seconds. Okay. Give it a little more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, Because if you do it this way, your curls will last you three times longer. This is the third curl. Again, the same technique over from the back okay. on this side. And after doing all this, you know, at the end of the day, you're taking your wig off. Do you recommend to put the wig on um, those head thingies? What do you call those? Yes. The phones, the headphones? Yes. Okay. For a woman who has, or a man who has one or two wigs, yes, put them on a the headphone. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of women become obsessed with how easy it is to achieve any style. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have quite a bit of a collection. I mean, you're gonna have like five or six in your collection. You're on, you're almost there. Yeah, so yeah. You from no, from a person who literally had yeah. no wig. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. this man of like what two, three months are like a wig collector. <laughs> and it's easy, it's just because of how convenient it is. So it really is. what you're gonna have to do is build, you know those coat racks mm -hmm. or even the, the hooks that you get from Home Depot mm -hmm. or uh, Lowe's, the ones with the hooks, mm -hmm. because your wigs have the elastic band, <gasps> Pop them on. That's oh, I so I have my wig based on length, long and short. Yes. My husband would love that because right now I've got the heads like all over the washroom and I think too much. He's been so kind and he hasn't said anything, but I know he secretly hates that. <laughs> Eventually it's gonna to be too much, you're not gonna have room for the exactly. mannequin head. So I hang them, so you can hang like five per hook. Oh wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So for those of uh, for those who don't have the um, the elastic band. I would say you you have to put them on the head so you don't damage the waves. Yeah. And never check in your waves, please. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't actually. I don't check in Chanel. I don't check in. No, I, there's certain things I don't check in. I don't check in anything Chanel. I don't check in my wig. Um, I actually, that's how I travel. There's certain Smart. things that, regardless, Anything that's super expensive or new, I don't check in any Gucci as well. Thank so. you. I don't want to. So this is the wonder side. I say the wonder side because this is the side that falls on your eye. <laughs> so it's important that it fits it, right. So here, this is the trick. You want to go behind. Oh, so on my right side, I'm going behind. Yes. On my left side, I'm going forward. Yes. That's good to know. Because the heat has to hit it where it needs to bend from here to there. And the only way it can have a bend here and let this part almost seem like it's overflowing is for heat, the barrel needs to be right here. So you have to figure out a way to get this to fall and the barrel needs to come right here. Yes, so it can come from like this. And anytime you feel like your arm is awkward, then that's when you're doing it right. Mm. See, that's my issue. I think every time I try, I feel like, oh, this is awkward, this can't be right. And then I quit and then I go back to my same old curl, curl pattern, which is just, a nice little spiral curl, but you know, it's it's fun, but it's to me it's redundant and I don't think it's on trend as much as this whole nice wave. So let's do this and go back. And let's do this you can lean forward so they can really see. Yeah. Okay, cool. And curl like this. Again, you wanna make sure it's flat on the uh, wand. You wanna make sure every bit of the hair is touching the mm -hmm. heat. So yes, when you uh, roll, when you put it on the wand, make sure it's like flat. So I think it's important to have someone to show you initially. That way you know where you're making the mistake and you get comfortable with the arm position. Can I be honest with you? I have to learn it. Really? I took a class. Really? It, you, I've seen it on tape and I, I just, it, and that's no like, one explained it to me the way they did. I feel like I've seen it on tape and everything and I'm just like, well. Well, you know what it is? No one really took the time to tell you that one side is different from the other. Yeah, no, and that exactly. was my thing. I just thought it was the same thing until I started making waves and I realized, oh, that's, but it's a, it's a trade secret. Because if your hairstylist tells you how to do this, you may not go back. Okay. So I'm gonna move this out of your way. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, so you can have room. All right, so I'll see the bottom one. Perfect size. Okay, perfect size. So this is what we have. And I'm going behind. Perfect. Good job. Yay. Good job. And come tighter if you can. Come tighter. Perfect. Yes. 
Not wait to do this again with you, but yes, there you have it. How to slay your wig? Mm. It's not a wig, babe. I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, how to slay my hair? Yeah. <laughs> Till next time, make sure you guys check out onmymonica.com and make sure you hit up my girl Jane. Jane, come tell them everything they need to know. All right, check us out at thevirginhairfantasy.com. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow Jane at thevirginhairfantasy.com. Until next time, bye y'all.